Well, now to our big story at five. Neighbors in Grafton say their house shook when the home next door exploded. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne live at Surrey Lane and Valley Drive in Grafton with the reason investigators still don't know what caused this explosion. Brett? Yeah, even all, all these hours later, Ted and Mary, they still don't know. Investigators say they've looked at all the obvious culprits like natural gas, sewer lines, even appliances inside. But so far, they are baffled. Grafton's fire chief says, thankfully, the couple inside made it out alive. What just happened? Looking out her window, Courtney Marks knew quickly this was no ordinary Monday in the neighborhood. And all of a sudden, it just, like, it just blue and it was just something that I was not expecting. Part of a loud explosion from the residents, so uh, siding and windows had blown off. Grafton's fire chief William Rice says it happened just after 11 a.m. but his crews still don't know what it was. We've checked all the neighboring structures. We have we energies here now checking the area also and we haven't determined what caused uh, the explosion. Rice says the homeowners were inside when it exploded. He says a man was in the basement where the explosion started and was burned. The woman that lives there, I've been talking with her, she's fine, uh, has refused to uh, get any medical treatment. The force from the blow buckled walls and popped windows out of frames. Firefighters went door to door, making sure there were no other problems on the street. Rice says all things considered, the outcome could have been much worse. In this case, to see the occupants walk out with relatively what appear to be minor injuries is uh, pretty amazing, especially when you see the damage on the inside. And a man living next door says he called 911. He says he saw smoke coming from the house soon after that loud boom. Grafton's fire chief says it's going to be a little while before they find out an exact cause. Reporting live in Grafton, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Brett, thank you.